What is going on guys? Alex you make here coming back at you with another YouTube video again uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're killing it here on YouTube. We're gonna keep blowing up this year. If you have not liked the video, go like the video right, right, right now. Um, anyway, so today we're gonna be training back a little bit of a pool day, just like I did on my last shoulder video posted up here. We did really, really well. You guys like how I explain kind of my workouts, as many tips as I can and all that. So we're gonna be a guide to training back today. My back has been looking really, 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 really good lately. I'll show up a little video over here so you guys can see what it's been looking like. My lower lats have came in a lot more and I'm a little bit higher body fat, but I'm still feeling my lower lats are popping through a lot more. So I'm going to show you guys the exercises I've been using to really kind of help do that. And again, I'm not deadlifting. I'm not um, barbell squatting still. Um, yeah, I'm going to be training a little bit of a back pull type of day today, which is probably one of my favorite pumps, my favorite days. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing and the tips to kind of go along with it. Anyways, all right guys, so raw gear drop on January 20th, code Alex. I'm wearing the Chanel sets right now. I'll show the whole, I'll show like the majority of the drop at the end of this video like i always do i do a little promo video at the end of this video so you want to go skip and see that go do that the chanel patch things are a must cop these in four different colors is gray brown green and black these are super comfy fire really good material as you can see and uh pretty soft on the inside so that's gonna be dropping as well as a bunch of other stuff like the little blanket hoodies um dropping these little like soft like teddy bear fleece thingies so again january 20th code alex if you want to support it run it up and get a discount anyways it is midday right now um i had to drop off my shelby my gt500 at a place i'm going to be getting pay protection film on the high impact points as well as a two-year ceramic coating and i think i'm also going to get a red pinstripe do you guys think i should get the pinstripe or not so i had to drop it off i go to la on the 17th to the 24th so i won't have my car for two or three days until then so i don't know how i'm gonna get to the gym today i'm gonna go eat here in a little bit i'll show you guys what i eat for my meal and uh probably gonna go to the gym see if my buddy wants to go later tonight when no one is there really want to like show you guys like the, the mods i end up putting on the shelby and stuff like that as of now i have a list of kind of what i want to do to the engine which would include injectors i want to get headers i want to get a lun tune run on e85 like a flex fuel tune i'll uh, get to around 830 wheel horsepower is what i really want to get i feel like it's a good sweet point for the car uh new wheels as well as uh some new cosmetic stuff and that's pretty much it for now Yo, I got a fat shipment from Huge today. So if you see me in person anywhere and you want to try the free, literally walk right up to me and I'll give you like a bunch of these to try out. All right. So I got more rec in stock. Uh, my favorite flavor is going to be one of these, which is the rainbow one, the rainbow burst. Everybody asks me for my for that. Re-upped on the intro workout. I left my gym bag in uh, Alexandria, the last video of that place. So I don't have any of my, like, my actual uh, pre-workout supplements. So that's why they had to send me more. This has been fire lately. The intro workout, I'm telling you guys, take this 30 minutes into your workout. You will have a really long lasting pump and you'll just feel like you don't really lose your energy uh, deep in your workout. So you send me some more of that, so that's cool. All right, so this is my go-to meal. I got five slices of turkey bacon. Each of these is 30 calories each. And then I got about 300 grams of egg whites right here. And then I'm cooking 400 calories worth of basmati, the ready rice. It's currently 352, so I'm gonna eat this. I'll pop up the macros if you guys are just curious what this is. I eat this probably every day at least once, so I'll pop them up right here. All right, so uh, we're going to Panera. I'm with Ethan again. Um, we went just got, I got coffee for the second time today. Starbucks, I've been addicted. I literally got it twice, so I have an issue. I gotta stop spending money there. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go hit the gym. All right, do you want it? Chisel's right around the corner. Like, do you really wanna go all the way back? And yeah, come? We'll go all the way back and then come back up to Chisel later. All right, if you want to, I'm with that. Yeah, but um, yeah, so we're gonna hit back, like I said. Show you guys uh, probably like five top exercises I like to do, some tips for training back, how you can grow your back, lats, all that stuff. So yeah. All right, so we're talking about nofap obviously it's a really big topic um people talk about in the fitness industry like alex what's your opinion on nofap do you think it works in the um, middle of panera <laughs> yeah i'm in the middle of panera right now and my buddy went eight months doing nofap and he said like he had like mental clarity and stuff even saying he would have like crazy brain fog your nuts would be so heavy i feel like you'd be like so mad all the time i know but that's what i'm saying I, what i was saying is like after 30 days like same thing if like maybe if you're like an alcoholic you reach that point where you like, like I said, like transcendence. Like you okay, reach like, a new level. Like, your, your third eye you're putting something in your body. Right now, you're not allowing your body to do something it's naturally created to do. I'm not yeah, saying you like, need to be doing it every day, but like, you ready? Have you ever heard like I've heard in cultures too, like that, like your sexual energy when you like maintain it, you just you develop it, just like goes into other parts of your life. I don't know. We're gonna know, try. No. We're gonna try it here on the channel. Let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated on my journey. Make sure you show them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use you guys to be my accountability and I'm going to give you guys my updates week by week. So today's day one. <laughs> if you guys have experience with NoFap on your own, comment down below. 
like what how long were you able to last and then um and then what <laughs> and then what were the benefits that you think you got from it i remember i did it last year i actually did i did it for like two weeks and like but it was already because like my sex drive was low from cutting so like it didn't really it wasn't that hard um but yeah let me know down below i'm gonna do it i'm gonna i'm literally gonna do it though I'm like i'm legit so why'd you cut that on the table Thank like you. that that's what i'm saying I don't bite it. dirty ass table i don't want to bite into it dude. oh my god just dude. cut it on the plate Right there. I'll break the plate. I'm just gym now. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway here on the YouTube. I used to do them on Instagram, but my last time I did a giveaway on Instagram, they took down my post for community guidelines. Like, apparently, not allowed to do a giveaway on Instagram, but I still want to give away like stuff every month. So, basically, what the giveaway consists of is it's going to be five. Five um, winners are going to win uh, Rect Pretty and Ecti. So, both of those, there'll be five winners for that. Uh, five, I'm gonna have five winners for a hundred dollar raw gear gift card, so I'm giving away five one hundred dollar card gift cards for raw gear. And the Kilo Mix, I'm giving away five winners are gonna win multiple Kilo Mix bottles with I think three, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to enter that, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment down below. Comment down below, giveaway. Just comment giveaway down below. I don't know if you want to enter it. And I'm gonna go pick random people um, by my next video, and uh, I'll hit you up and uh, reach out to you so you guys can get um, what you want. So yeah, just got to the gym. Uh, we were talking about like God stuff on the way here and one of the things what did I, I I mentioned about the whole like we live in a generation where a lot of the guys are trying to be like alpha yeah, the, the, like, Every, the inner alpha of inner people. alpha like everybody wants to be like alpha and like tough guy and I feel like a lot of people like are afraid when they come to like faith or in God that almost it makes them more like I, I, weaker yeah it makes them seem vulnerable yeah, exactly. and being vulnerable makes them seem weak when that's like it's literally the complete opposite the more vulnerable you are i see you as a stronger man because you're not willing to care what anybody thinks about you the more versus you have in you to accept god is the more power and the bigger you're going to be and feel so yeah it's like what it just makes sense to me that like it, i know a lot of people are afraid to push their faith because they don't want to be judged they're afraid like oh they're gonna think like yo you're weird for that like and then you, and you get scared because you're afraid of what other people think about you but if you want to be a true like alpha and actually like like a, like a tough person, you wouldn't care what anybody thinks about you, so therefore you should proclaim your faith and be, and be proud of it. And, and I submit to God, meaning I don't submit to anybody else but my creator, my God. And it, it makes you be more, what is it, humble? It makes you more humble that way, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people try to be like this whole alpha thing, they can be like dickheads, you know what I mean? Back down to earth, essentially. Yeah, exactly, so I just had to, had to explain that. But yeah, we're gonna go in the gym, eating the Rice Krispies right now. <laughs> we got the Rainbow Burst, Rat Code Alex. Ethan, I'm gonna give you these. Wherever you are. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to give you those. And then we got a new pump serum. I got my new shipment in today. Code Alex on all this again. Huge supplements are fire. Ecti, anything you want to get, check out link in my bio. Use Code Alex to support me. Got the Rice Krispies as well. And yeah, we're going to go train back here at Chiseled, uh, my OG gym. So I'll see you guys in there. So we're doing these close grip pull downs. A lot of people hate on the V-bar. I personally like it. Either a mag grip, close grip, or a V-bar is gonna be fine. The biggest thing is because you have your elbows going in front of your body, it's gonna hit more of your lat. More to the side, you're not hitting as much lat, you're hitting more of like what is it, your teres minor or whatever muscle it is. But when your elbows are more in front of you, you have more of a contraction through your lat and your lower lat. So I'm gonna stay as vertical as I can, pull down, and you're releasing my lower lat pop. So it's my favorite machine, the low row. You can do these the same, like both arms at the same time. One arm, you can do them standing. I'll show you like two different variations. Standing, I feel like I get a better stretch and contraction. Seated, uh, it all hits your back different ways. So you can always switch it up, have more fun with it. I'll do so, I'll do like one. More time. of a scoop as, a, as opposed to a pull. Yeah. So when yeah. you're standing, it's more yeah. of a pull. When you're sitting, it's more of a scoop. Yeah. So I'll set up like this.
owner's cool, like a part owner, but this shit used to be cool. But now they like they get mad at you for taking uh, your shirts off because I distract people because I'm too much of a I'm too much of a sick cunt. Bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck is this cunt? Oh, they, just, they can't do it. Okay, they, keep, they keep looking at me, bro. I, I can't help it. I mean, maybe if I was fat though. As soon as oh, the guy yeah. takes his shirt off, it's a fucking problem. Yeah, I was just it's distracted. All right, so these are my favorite. I've been doing these at the home at home a lot. Really get my lower lats. Um, basically incline bench. The biggest thing is how your scapula moves, so you want it to spread the whole way on the stretch, and then you kind of contract your lower back and your whole back at the same time to really get your lower lats. So it's like all kind of like a scoot movement. It's like a, you're, you're pulling, but you're also kind of arching your lower back at the same time. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm taking my shit off, bro. If I get kicked out, I get kicked out. Exile is a way better gym anyway. So. Exile is <laughs> way better. I said no one makes the Greek god put his shirt back Bro, on. Bro, it's just so dumb to me, like, I got an eyelash on my eye again. But like, you trained to what, build a physique, so Absolutely. why in the gym do you don't show, Don't show it off, I don't care about your hard work. Yeah. Leave it to yourself, okay? Like, I don't get it, like, like- <laughs> All you girls on TikTok, they can show your tits and shit. Like, <laughs> like, especially like, I get it like commercial gyms, but like, this is like a yeah. private, like, a, I don't get it. It's supposed to be the- Raw. Like the cool, you know what I mean? Like- The raw gym. I don't get it, I don't get it. Yeah. Like, if you, I don't get it, bro. Exactly. <laughs> One word. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're finishing off with straight arm pull downs. Uh, usually I start with these, but you can also finish with them. Biggest key is to keep your, uh, I'd say your, your, I have like a slight a pelvic, I push my pelvis up, so I flex my glutes kind of, and I engage my core and my glutes, and I kind of, uh, I keep my chest up. So as the action, I'm letting it stretch, let it stretch, let it stretch, and then I kind of pull it to my torso. So it's like an arc almost, you're not rowing it, you're kind of like pulling through with your lat, into your serratus, you know what I mean? Chest so. up, shoulder back, yeah. core tight. for making me take my hoodie off and on the whole time so I can't get them mad that's so stupid um but yeah so we just posed what are you are you recording am I in the way all right so my calves are shaking had to hit calves a little bit I'm trying to grow them I'm feeling a little bit fluffier I'm definitely feeling the bulk 
Uh, can you guys hype me, hype me up, please, down below in the comments so I don't start getting insecure? Because I'm starting to get a little chubby. And uh, not chubby to you, you know what I mean. Like to me, I can tell it, I can notice it. I'm definitely a little, a little more watery. Um, definitely starting to feel the extra weight a little bit from the bulk. Um, yeah, there's always that point when you're like bulking. When you first start bulking from like a diet, you like, you hold it well because like you get fuller. And then you reach the point where you start actually a little bit, starts going again towards a little bit of fat, especially being natural, which sucks. But obviously, if I'm gonna have like a really good prep, uh, when I start getting closer to the show, I gotta kinda cut into it. I can't be like lean all the way leading up to it or else like I'll probably lose a lot of size. So definitely gotta start pushing the calories more. I will get a little bit fatter, which sucks. I'll still be aesthetic, you know? Not as aesthetic as I could be, but that's gonna be like the body just more if it starts kicking in. But you know, low key, it's not that far away. If I wanna compete end of May, beginning of June, um, what, we probably got like 12, 16 weeks, whatever more of bulking or like being in a surplus. So that's not too long when you think about it, like three, three and a half months or whatever, and then I can get shredded again. So we'll try to stay strong until then. All right, guys, so uh, it is the next day. Uh, I just woke up and have DoorDash coming to go get me some food. I'm getting uh, Panera. I did not feel like going out and I don't have my Shelby, so I really don't wanna have to warm up my dad's truck and go. So I'm going to LA from the 17th to the 24th, which I'm pretty sure is Sunday today is uh I, now it's friday i have to upload this video today and um yeah i'll be there for about five six days whatever i'll be at the meet and greet uh the raw gear pop-up shop so if you guys want to meet me um come slide to that i think that's on the 20th um but yeah anyways let me know some videos you guys want to see when i'm out in la uh, i'll be hanging out with brad ryan schmittel um jared hattie will be there nathan so like a bunch of the og guys so it'll be really fun i'm excited to see the content we make so stay tuned for that coming up here shortly. Yeah, I'm streaming tonight. Again, I'm streaming on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. If, if you guys want to come over there, that is a lot of a tighter knit community. YouTube's pretty tight, but the Twitch is like really tight because like there's there's like only 100 to 200 people and like I'm talking to you guys the whole stream. So if you want to come join there and be in our little group, definitely come slide. Um, My Twitch is Alex underscore Eubank. Shout out Steve, you got me this hoodie. It's like the Shelby hoodie. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going to show a uh, roll the clip of part of the new drop. This is just half of like the new raw gear drop dropping on the 20th so i'll just show you guys if you case you're interested and you want to support um when that comes out so yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did please leave a like comment subscribe turn the bell notification on so you guys are always up to date when i upload please like subbing commenting keep doing it bro youtube started to promote me a lot more on like the, the recommended pages and the home pages so keep doing that stuff so they can keep doing that and pushing my content and i really want to hit 200 200 250k by my birthday which is which is may 23rd i really want to do 250k by then on, on youtube so do your part please sub all that stuff and again we're doing the giveaway if you if you saw that in the in the earlier in the video and i'll announce that in the next uh video but uh yeah thank you guys so much again until next time peace out Check. The grills in my mouth.